You have told me in the past that you make a, a, a profit, a tiny profit, in every market that you're in, yeah. and why that's so critical. I mean, you are a public company, and I yeah. think that's uh, certainly there's pressure from shareholders to earn more of a profit, but just the fact that you do earn that profit is, is part right. of the model. Yeah, so, so I think there's no sustainability in doing things at a loss, and, and I think it, while donations are are terrific in a very short-term acute situation, it's not sustainable either because it's, it's a loss, right? So you have to find a business model where everything you do within it at least covers your marginal cost. There are certain parts of our business where we, we would not necessarily be contributing towards our fixed costs as an organization, but you know, within the overall piece, it's adding to the returns of the company. Broadly speaking, the way we've tried to structure our, particularly for vaccines, is GNI per capita across the world. So we rank, literally rank order uh, the world by GNI per capita, and we drive our prices accordingly. We think Just that's like that, and right. And then yeah. Gavi essentially sits at the bottom because Gavi represents the poorest countries. It's at the very bottom of that tier, and so Gavi gets the best price in the world, essentially. Uh, what that's allowed us to do is then to build. The thing you have to remember about vaccines is it takes a long while to discover a vaccine. My God, it takes a long while to build a factory to make the vaccines. Mm. So actually, when you look at the capital base required, you need certainty of volume. So one of the things that's worked very well with Gavi is market shaping, advanced market commitment, so-called, in an area, for example, pneumococcal vaccine. So Gavi decided, or the funders of Gavi decided this was a priority area. Gavi signaled to the marketplace, to people like us, if you're prepared to build capacity, there is essentially a guaranteed volume at a certain price, a low price, but a certain price. We then went forward, spent 10 years building a facility. We spent 600 million Singapore dollars building that facility in Singapore. It came on stream, it supplies vaccine to Gavi, and it's contributing to the first drop in childhood mortality in Sub-Saharan Africa, because for the first time, those children are being vaccinated against lethal diseases. And you start to see hospitals being vacated from sick kids. They can now treat different types of patients, maybe adults with more NCD-type disease. That's the model which Gavi has helped to facilitate, but it needed companies like GSK to be prepared to engage in.